WTFNN. Headline news update. Hi everyone, this is Basil Chapman sitting in for the 9 a.m. news report here at TFNN. The Dow futures are now down 40. The S&P futures are down uh, six. So what we're looking at is the Dow is, is bumping. You see the left side chart. The Dow is bumping into resistance in the daily chart. So I think there could be some kind of a consolidation here. But so far, the technicals are still very strong. If you look at the S&P, same thing, bumping into technicals uh, as it gets to the uh, uh, high of, let me just put this in, there we go. As we get to the 2891 area where it is, where it closed yesterday, now of course it's down a little bit because of the, the futures, but it needs to get into the 2905 area to really say, oops, I'm breaking out now, I've, I've done with the consolidation. The QQQ, the NDX is being affected by the semiconductors, semiconductors because of Vagio, which is Broadcom, got smacked last night, was down very sharply, down 26, and their semiconductors are down very sharply, they're down, SMH is down three at 102.23, but here you've got the QQQ down 97, so it is being affected somewhat by the uh, semiconductor in industry, but actually I'm impressed that it's holding quite as well as, uh, as it is. The real story here, of course, is gold, and gold had a very big move. It's up 15 points at one stage, and now it's up nine at 1352. It's bumping into, if you look at my chart in the middle, the weekly chart, it's bumping to the left side, resistance that goes all the way back to February of this year in the 3061 area. The dollar is actually holding quite well. It's just not breaking down, and that's important. The dollar is up 14 at 97.19. I'd say that's pretty good action. So you've got to think of them separately. Gold, I think, look, silver is not participating as well as gold. Gold is part of this fear factor, the geopolitical stuff. So that's important. And if you look at crude oil, crude oil at this stage is now um, up nine cents it's just not doing anything crude oil should in fact from yesterday's news be up in the 58th it said 52.36 so that says nothing to nothing to worry about right here so we'll be looking at this and remember the bonds money I, my interpretation is the money flows when mark the market gets volatile money tends to go from the equities into bonds and the bonds are up 14 ticks at 131.27 in the tlt but it's only in a high level consolidation it's not breaking out to the upside it's more safety factor stay tuned for larry Pesavento coming out trade what you see should be a fabulous show as always and trading and programming here all day have a wonderful weekend Basil Chapman signing off.